All right, so we're gonna do a test drive using the full self-driving beta, FSD beta 10.69.2.4. All right, we're gonna go 33 miles. We're gonna see if it requires any interruptions. All right, so anyways, let's go. We have the little steering wheel thing. Let's see if we start it now. Why is it going to the right? <laughs> okay, so I never really trust it going out of driveways and stuff because it does whatever the heck it wants. I don't know if maybe that was a shorter way. I don't know. I usually never go that way. Um, anyways, I have this full screen now so you can see what's going on. Let me close the windows. Oops. Sorry about that. I was holding the wheel too tight while closing the windows. Anyways, let's let it go. <laughs> We're not going to count that disengagement. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go. In 500 feet, turn right onto Jacqueline Road. Now turn right onto Jacqueline Road. take the right is it gonna do it it's gonna, okay it's taking the right we technically could go right now the people on the left have right away okay it's not going on its own so I'm probably okay it went I guess it was waiting there was a car that was making a right turn it wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna go straight and it did a good job I was about to press the pedal because I knew the car was going to turn right and not go straight. Um, but I guess the car wants to play it safe. The AI wants to play it safe and make sure. I'm going to up the speed to 40. All right, well, we got a red light now, so. <clears throat> I might have to let the cool air in or turn the AC on or the air on. Um, because it's warm in the car. Let's let some air in real quick and then that should keep it cool enough that it'll be okay. Here we go. We have 32 miles to go. And we'll see how it does. Oh, I'm getting messages. <laughs> I'll check the messages at the next stop if there is one. Alright, here we go. It's telling me to apply a little turning force. Alright, I actually want to go to the left lane because that's on the inside curve, so I signaled left. That's my own personal preference. We are going to have to go to the right lane eventually. Um, so I'm probably going to have to keep telling it to stay in the left lane because it's going to want to go to the right lane to make that right turn. But uh, we'll see. Alright, it wants me to move the wheel a little. I guess I'll leave my hand on here just to be safe. Pulling on it. I'll keep it like pulled a little bit so that way it doesn't keep like telling me to do that. We're at a stop. I don't think this stop is going to be long enough for me to check messages, so... Yeah, nope. <laughs> okay, I see it's going to want to turn left soon. I'm going to stop it. Because I, I like to stay on the inside of the turns. After this turn, then we can do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so after this turn, I'll 
signal right and let it do its thing. We still have a little bit more. That van is speeding up. Okay, I'm gonna signal to the right. Let's see what it does. It's waiting for that van, it's slowing down. And is it? Oh, it. Okay, and it made the right lane change. Nice. Okay. I was thinking it was gonna wait until after the turn after the the traffic light, but it actually went in. Okay. It did um, when it was making the right turn or right lane change. It did hesitate a tiny bit, but nothing. Nothing too like shocking or strange. It's doing really well. In 500 feet, turn right onto West Calaveras Boulevard. Okay, maybe I shouldn't look at the directions because then now it makes turn me want right to change the West path. Calaveras I'll let it do Boulevard. What it wants to do. It's pretty easy. We're going. Right, I would technically go to the left lanes now, so I switched over to the left lane and I would do another one okay it saw that van going in I, I, I pulled it a little because I felt like the van was getting too close um, it's not again it's not really the car's fault <laughs> I just wanted to merge over to the left earlier because we are let's see we are going to take 237 which normally is a left turn to get onto there but I guess it wants to just drive straight through I hope it doesn't take that route. Usually that way is like longer, a little bit, because it has to wait at more lights. Okay, so this light's just turning red now. So I think that means I have time to check my messages. Yeah, it's red. Okay, I'm gonna check my messages real quick and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. I'll wait till the car comes to a stop. Oops, here we go again. The light changed and it started going on its own. Oh, we're hitting every single red light now. Let me try something real quick here. doesn't want to do it. Oh, there we go. Drive southwest on West Calaveras Boulevard such a hard for four time tenths of a mile. Address. Did it did it actually keep the right address this time? Come on. Let's do Okay, should be right. Okay, we'll let the car continue on its own. We got a green light now. I guess it's gonna keep going this way instead of taking this oh yeah 237 because there's two ways you can keep going straight to 237 or you can take this exit it seems like it's just going straight but I don't know it's staying in the exit lane in one so mile, keep 
Keep left to stay on California yeah. 237 West. So it's staying on the 237 exit right here. So same thing. Um, there's the option to keep going straight, but I don't like waiting at that red light there. So it's going the right way. Okay. Pretty soon it's going to switch to the regular um, autopilot full self-driving because we're no longer on city roads. So it's just going to be freeway autopilot, which is what you get even if you're not in the beta. Okay, so we're in the turn only lane or exit only lane, so it's switching over. Nice. Is it keeping the beta? Okay, no, the beta's gone. You can tell because all the yellow and red lines and everything disappeared. So now we're just in regular um, autopilot. This is the regular autopilot that you get without the beta. So shouldn't really have any issues here. I don't know if they're making improvements to this um, or if the improvements are only to the beta. For the now most keep part, left to stay on California 237 West. Yeah, for the most part, it doesn't really have any issues with the with the freeway driving, so it should be perfectly fine. I'm gonna set the speed limit up to 65, actually. A lot of times when there's no traffic here, like that person's driving like 70. <laughs> A lot of times when there's no traffic here, people drive like 70 plus on this on this road. Anyways, uh, let's actually move over to the left lane because the truck in front's going slower. It sees that car and then it just went because it knows there's room. Okay. So it's set to seven car follow distance. And right now, speed is set to 65. simple drive for the car. Yeah, I'll 
I'll just leave my hand here, so. Okay, it wants to go left, or switch to the left lane, so it's gonna go on its own. I set it so it makes that sound when it's doing the turn signals on its own, like it makes a ding sound, like kind of like on an airplane when it tells you to put on your seatbelts. Um, so it makes that sound when it's doing the turn signals on its own. In one mile, take exit 3A on the right onto US 101 North towards San Francisco. And that way you know if it's me doing the turn signals or if the car is doing it on its own. see it, it preemptively moved to the left lane because this is a exit only. Um, so it knew in advance that that's an exit only and then it moved over to the left. did it very safely but the cars behind were probably like why why are they changing into this lane and then getting back out like immediately it didn't even drive in the other lane for for a minute it just said okay never mind and right after it went in very strange
sure. There's one thing I don't like is sitting behind trucks, like big trucks like this, because they tend to shoot up more rocks since they have like more wheel surface touching the ground, picks up more road debris. Um, and also because they're higher up, so they have more like ability to shoot out rocks. Um, so I would move out from behind this truck, but all the traffic around is going the same speed, so I can't really go around it unless I take the carpool lane. So we're just going to sit here. Uh, one thing that I sometimes do is move to the left so that way if it does shoot up rocks at least it's shooting at the passenger side and not the driver side. Um, so if it does cause chips or anything it's not as in my face and I don't have to worry about getting it fixed as soon. Um, but anyways, it's doing a good job. I'm just following this truck. Kind of wondering if I should move over to the right to go around it, but usually you don't want to pass on the right because they're less likely to check. that uh, 
SUV was kind of going into the lane, so it slowed down. ignoring it um, eventually I haven't done it I've never had it do that because I always pull it in time but um, from what I know is the car will just slow down turn on the emergency hazard lights and then stop in the in the same lane that you're in it won't actually go onto the shoulder or anything in one mile keep left to stay on US 101 North So 
Now keep left to stay on US 101 North.
one mile, take exit 419 beyond the right toward Broadway. Feet, turn Should. right onto Bayshore Highway. I'm thinking it needs to go right lane one more time. Right? Doesn't it? We need to go right. Oh, I guess all the lanes turn right, so that's fine. Now turn right onto Bayshore Highway. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, it did that weird. Uh, yeah, that was wrong. Okay, I'm gonna go right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it couldn't decide if it should take the right or not. That was a mess up. Mistake. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna do this myself because we're going into the other lanes. Alright. Now let's In see what it does. In 500 feet, turn right onto Broadway. Okay. Now no. turn right onto Broadway. We have a right turn green arrow, so let's see if it keeps going. Yes, it does. Oh, no. See, it, it doesn't do this too well. So, what's next here? Give me my map. We need to keep going straight, so I need to move back to the right lane here. Yeah, it couldn't handle these. We're gonna go into the left now. In 500 feet, turn left onto Carolyn okay. Avenue. Yeah, I was having issues with that. <laughs> it couldn't handle that. Okay, there's a train coming up ahead. Probably gonna be at this light a while, so let me check some messages real quick. I'll be back. All right, here we go again. Hopefully it's zoomed out right. All right, there's the Caltrain. We do have to make a left turn here, so it is Now turn going left right onto Carolyn Avenue. All right, it's in the right lane. We do have to turn left here. I don't know why I didn't let these cars turn left when the train was there. Kind of weird. Okay, now I don't know what that tow truck is just staying there for. I think they're waiting for that left turn. These lights are messed up. It's letting too many cars go. We're not going to be able to turn left. <laughs>
another train's coming. Uh oh. They better hurry up. Why are people stopping so close to the train tracks? <laughs> okay, where's our left turn light? This light's broken. should be letting us turn left right now. I don't know why it's not letting us. Okay, all trains going opposite direction. Okay, when do we get our green light? What is going on here? I wonder if the car will eventually give up if it stays red forever. Or if it'll just sit here forever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. Is another train coming? What is going on? I think almost at this point we should just turn left right now. <laughs> it's just lights broken. Something's wrong with these lights. Oh, there we go. Finally got a green light. Okay. Go, go, speed it up. I push the pedal a little bit. Okay. And we actually need to go over to the right lane. Good, it signaled. In 500 feet, turn left, then turn right. Okay, we need to turn left soon, so it should be slowing down. Now go. turn left. Alright, is it gonna do it? There we go. Now turn right. Okay, so it's gonna stop in here. I'm just going to wait out here, I guess. And that's the end of my now trip. You have I'll see you guys later. All right, here we go again. Let me set this thing back up so it has less shaking. All right, hopefully that's good. And here we go. Again, I don't trust it going out of driveways and stuff. So I'm going to exit on my own. Now turn right onto Carolyn Avenue. I mean, Avenue. I can't see all that stuff, but I always feel like it takes it too fast. Okay, here we go. Let's have it drive on its own now. Okay, pull the windows back up. 500 feet, turn right onto Broadway. Alright, slow down, get in there. There you go. Alright. Now turn right onto Broadway. go because they have a red light so we'll go. I push the pedal a little bit. In 500 feet turn right to take the US 101 south ramp towards San impatient. Jose. I was impatient didn't want to wait and see if it would go automatically. <laughs> Alright. They have too many cars at this dealer. They blocked the entire driveway with cars. <laughs> okay, cars going on its own. And we're going to be turning right. Now here. turn right to take the US 101 South Ramp.
merge lane already, so it already merged over. Change the speed limit again. In one mile, take exit 414B on the right onto California 92 West. Take exit 414B on the right. In 1,000 feet, take the California 92 West ramp on the right toward Half Moon Bay. Now take the California 92 West ramp on the right. is it doesn't really care about the speed limits on these turns <clears throat> so I'm not sure how it decides how fast to go because it, it kind of ignores those signs or at least it doesn't change the speed limits here um, it just decides to slow down that I wasn't going to catch it because there was a lot of cars. 
years. I stayed in the right lane it would have saw that car the Mercedes there and then it would have hit the brakes somewhat hard um, while they were merging in that's what I noticed it, it doesn't do too well with merges date on the right onto Interstate 280 South towards San Jose, to the right then take the this. Interstate 280 South ramp on the left. Interstate 280 go, South go ramp on the left. In 500 feet, take the Interstate 280 South ramp on the left towards San Jose.
that are um, closer on the turns. Not really important.
too worried that that car was too close, so I didn't want to do it. But I wanted to merge over because the, the right side's going way too slow.
distance, very safe. We're going up a mountain right now. People are going slower. None of these lane shifts are necessary. <laughs> these are more so I'm on the inside of the curve, so it's actually a lot less distance travel. But uh, yeah, not many people will drive like that. They'll just stay in one lane, so. to stop it keeps doing it anyways so the people in back of you are gonna be like why do you keep signaling and then stopping your signal and then signaling and stopping your signal and signaling <laughs> so I mean yeah I mean if you let it do its own thing then it won't keep doing that but okay we're gonna end up more going over to the left in the end so it's better to stay on the left lane if you want a shorter travel distance but yeah, I go on the inside of each curve, and as the curve is ending, I just let the car go. Normally, I would let the car go straight um, to end up in the other lanes. Like if I drive it on my own. Um, yeah. So far, it's doing. shifts throwing it off. <laughs> okay, let me show you how I normally will do the turns. I'm going to turn off the full self-driving when it's like starting this turn and then I'll show you how I normally drive it so that you don't actually have to turn as much. Like there's a lot less turning. Okay, so turn off the full self-driving. We're on the inside of the turn. Um, and it's harder to do it if there's a whole bunch of cars because then you got to make sure that the curve is ending as you're able to move to the other lanes. Okay. Alright, so this lane, this turn is ending, so then I just let the car into there. But if there's like no cars, then you can basically use the whole turn as a way to just, you'll continue straight into the, and then you'll end up in the right turn. Yeah, but because there's so many cars and so much traffic right now, it makes it harder. Okay, I'll do it again. So you see, I 
just kept going straight and the car, because it's already like at the end of the right turn, it ends up to the far left lane. Take exit 9 on the right. by a million mosquitoes earlier. This guy out here with his wife and two kids says they need food and rent. And he lost his job. Oh, I don't know if there's a bug bite or kind of um, don't understand the, the lost job signs too much, if somebody can explain it to me, because I would think you could get like a lower paying job and then at the same time search for a better paying job, but I don't know, maybe 
that's just me speaking from not having those issues. Okay, oops, I pulled it too hard. I pulled it too hard and it, it took it out. <laughs> It's merging over here. In 500 feet, we turn left onto Lawrence lanes. Expressway. Why does it do these weird lane changes? I don't understand. <laughs> like it merged now to a turn non, left onto Lawrence Expressway. turning lane. Right? I'm gonna slow down and stop. I am getting a phone call. So I'll have to take that and I'll be back. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back. We've been waiting at this light for quite some time now. Expressway. They handled that surprisingly well. There's a random little bug flying around. Okay, I'll speed it up a little. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Benton Street. And we're pretty much here. Should be slowing down. Yep, slowing down. Now turn right onto Benton Street. Good. Make this right turn. It's slowing down pretty hard here. Okay, we have a yield, not a stop, so I push the pedal to keep going. Now we have to go left. Now turn left onto Flora Vista left Avenue. And left here. And left here. Okay, it's doing that on its own. Now turn left onto left Altamira here. Drive. Alright, it's doing really well. And that's now pretty your much destination it. is on the right. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, actually, I'll probably show on the way back home as well. All right, bye. All right, here we go again. Got a couple more places to go. I'm gonna make some Amazon returns. 
And we'll see. I need to compile the parts where the car goes somewhat crazy. Or maybe only show those parts. We'll make a full length video and then a short. Now turn right onto Benton Street. In 500 feet, turn right onto Benton Street, then turn right onto Lawrence Expressway. car drive itself. <laughs> now car turn drives. right onto Flora Vista Avenue. Now turn right onto Benton Street. There's new cars. Go, 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 go. Now turn right onto Lawrence Expressway. Okay. It's green. It's all the person. Alright. It's green, but it's a yield. We can go, go. Why are you slowing down? I push the pedal. <laughs> push the pedal a little bit because I don't know why it was slowing down. In one mile, turn right onto Monroe Street. And it just went. It didn't even. <laughs> it didn't even check to see if any. Well, I mean, I'm sure it checked to see if cars were. In 500 were feet, turn left. It didn't feel like it was checking to see. All right, so it's gonna turn left here. No, you now turn. turn left. No, you turn. So good. Hundred feet, your destination will be on the right. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is wrong. I need to go in the straight lane. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's pretty much it for now. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, let's continue our trip. I need to make some Amazon returns. Let's get out of here. Oops, give me a second. All right, here we go. These delivery vans made it hard for people to get out of this parking area. Oh, there we go. They're moving for me. <laughs> they moved just enough for me to get out easily. Alright, and here we go. Get out of this parking area now and turn then we'll right let the car drive itself. Street. Alright, go. In 500 feet, turn right onto Lawrence Expressway. Turn right, buddy. Where are you going? Okay, there we go. <laughs> now turn right onto Lawrence Actually, Expressway. Actually, oops, we have to turn right here. Is that right? Am I getting confused? Okay. For some reason, it wanted to go left. That was weird. Oh yeah, that's right. Where was I gonna go? All right, here we go. Technically it's carpool time, so we do need to move over to the left, I believe, right? Is it carpool time? Yeah, three to seven. So let's move over to the left. Hopefully it's not gonna wanna go back over to the right. We will need to go to the right eventually to make a to go onto the, the freeway or highway or whatever you call it. Right? Freeway, highway, expressway. I don't know what's the difference. Oh, they just open and close your door. Recording. Yes, it is. Coming lane change. See, it's gonna want to go into the carpool lane, I think. Let's roll out the windows here. <coughs> Breathing in toxic fumes.
actually merge over to the right in a little bit here. I actually would have been able to do the right turn there. Let's actually see about merging right now. And perfect. Okay, so I signaled to do it. It would have, I mean, it went in earlier, but I felt that was way too early. <clears throat> okay, this truck wants in, so I'm going to slow down and let them in. Okay. Whoa. I activated it when I was kind of close to the truck, and then it hit the brakes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, white screen now. In one thousand feet, take the California two thirty seven ramp on the right toward Milpitas. Now take the California 237 ramp on the right. We can't go in there. I don't have the carpool sticker, buddy. <laughs> I had to pull it out of the uh, full self-driving because it was going to go in the carpool lane. I don't have the carpool stickers on my car because I felt like I rarely ever needed to use the carpool lane by myself. There we go, we'll let it drive itself again. We'll allow it to go up to 75 or 80. I don't really need to go that fast, but I feel like it helps it merge in better. Like here. Is it going to do it? Too long. Okay, I did it myself. <laughs> the truck was, the truck even honked because he was like, why are you going in? Alright, anyways. Let's go now. So the AI kind of plays it extra safe. The truck gave plenty of room, but it was just waiting. why we have 
lots of traffic now. It's all these cars in back are going into this merge lane and then they're like coming back in. <laughs> causes a backup because all the cars have to slow down to let them in. I usually don't like doing that because to me it's, it's the same thing as like cutting in line. Just because you're in a car doesn't make cutting in line okay. So I don't, I don't know. To me, it's kind of it's kind of like messed up. If I'm in like a super hurry, maybe, but everybody wants to get to where they're trying to get to. cut in, they go all the way to the right, go all the way till the exit, and then they try and cut in, and then the whole entire exit lane is all blocked and backed up, because people are trying to merge back in, and it just makes everything like bad traffic. <laughs> this merge the truck is okay so it actually turned to the right some to stop that truck from trying to cut it off <laughs> interesting <clears throat> the car did that on its own <clears throat> I don't know if it did it to cut the truck off or it did it because the lanes were closing in so much it just had to go in more or it felt like it had to but the truck behind me was <laughs> about to cut like in over in one mile take exit 9a on the right onto mccarthy boulevard feel like um, the car needs a it needs two settings it needs a speed limit which is the max it will go for regular driving and then it needs a passing speed limit which is like another 20 miles an hour over 
what the speed limit is set. Um, okay, it's gonna exit here. Yeah, so I think it needs a, a passing speed limit. So when it wants to pass cars, it has an extra 20 miles an hour to speed up. And that would actually now take make exit it a 9A lot better. on the right. Because most of the times it's going the speed limit and then when cars are coming, it has to like slam the brakes to merge in because it doesn't want to go over the speed limit that's set. So I feel like there should be a passing speed limit and a regular speed limit. In 500 feet, because turn that's, left on that's how people McCarthy drive Boulevard. when you reach the, or when you're passing, um, usually people will go over now the speed limit. Now turn left on McCarthy And I believe Boulevard. even there's laws that say it's okay to go over the, like, limit if you're passing or something. Um, at least in certain states. Not, I don't know if that's everywhere. It's probably different everywhere. It's going to be green a while. Okay, it adjusted. I was wondering how it thought we could get to there <laughs> with still 52%, even though it was over three miles away. It's like, that doesn't make sense. I just noticed, is the accelerator pedal made of plastic? Brake pedals made of strong metal and rubber. Accelerate pedals like plastic. You can hear when I rub my toenail on it. And the other one, the brake pedals like completely covered in rubber, so. Interesting.
came to a very nice gradual stop. it for now. I'll see you guys when I get back. Now you trip have arrived home, at guess. your destination. Oops, I knocked my thing down. Alright, see you guys then. Alright, here we go again. It's not perfect. It still makes issues, but uh it's getting there. Make a U-turn to stay no on North McCarthy right. Boulevard. Let's let it go on its own. I don't know why it was saying to make a U- No, stay here. Stop signaling to go over there. Oops. Okay. I mean, it knows that it's going to make a right turn soon, so it wants to be in the right lane, but stop it. Wait till after all these left curves, please. <laughs> Again, it's not an error. Um, I mean, if it drives like that, it's fine. That's how a lot of people will drive. They know they have a turn coming up and they'll just sit in that, go in that lane. All right. Maybe I should just let it do its thing so it can do its thing the way it does it. But, uh, yeah, no, not yet. Not yet. After this last left turn. They should have, um, when you correct the car, they should have like a um, thing that asks you why you made that change. And then maybe the car can learn from, from that once it understands English. <laughs> <clears throat> did really well there. <laughs> if 
for the way the cars like braked hard and stuff in front did that weird merging yeah the autopilot actually handled that surprisingly well go to this wide open part and then it like swings back wants to turn right all the way up there? Why? I mean, I guess that's okay. Usually I'll go down like this way and then go completely this way. Oh, I thought I wasn't paying attention to the road. I guess technically that's a little bit shorter because this goes backwards. All right, we'll just let it do its thing. I think there's a right turn. Is this a right turn only lane? In 500 feet, turn right onto Arizona Avenue. Why are they going so slow? Oh, okay. Okay, car's trying to go around a little bit. There we go. Now turn right onto Arizona Avenue. Thinks the bus is a truck. Huh. Interesting. Oh, people are out of school now, so they're all walking. Everybody's walking around. In 500 feet, turn left onto Washington Drive. It's gonna make a left turn soon. Now turn left onto Washington Drive. See, it's like stopping so far over to the right when it's making a left turn, blocking the traffic. Okay, our turn. Go. Does it know? Oh, good. Uh-oh. I had to push it a little because the other okay. okay. The other guy started driving out and then the car hesitated and stopped and then a pedestrian started walking out and it In hesitated feet, and was going to wait. So it would have been blocking the entire road sitting in there. Just had to speed it up. I don't know if the car can see like people waving you by like that. Now turn right onto Escuela Parkway.
about the crosswalk and it's slowing down to stop. No, keep going. <laughs> I pushed the pedal. I guess it assumed they wanted to cross. Whoa, buddy. How's In 500 feet, across? turn left saw. onto Russell Lane. Bicyclist, it was stopping weird. I made it go. <laughs> it already passed the bicyclist path. Anyways. Now turn left onto now. Russell Lane. Okay, now it's gonna have to wait for all these pedestrians. Who's honking? And what are they honking for? Who's honking and what are they honking for? I don't know. Anyways, the car's going on its own. Let the pedestrians. They're like crossing diagonal across the road. <laughs> what the heck? I guess that's why they usually have the crossing guards. So the crossing guards will tell them like, no, no, no. <laughs> going it's doing well in 500 feet Turn left onto North Hillview Drive. Now turn left onto North Hillview Drive. Can it handle this? This blind spot is pretty tough because it's really hard to see. So it's whoa, shit, boy! What is this guy doing? Okay, seemed like he was about to go. There was a police right next to me. <laughs> now your destination is on the right. Okay, so it didn't, it couldn't do that intersection too well. The person like that wanted to go. The person that wanted to go was like, what the heck? <laughs> because the car was like slowly inching out and then it was blocking the way. So it can't quite handle that. All right, and there we go. All right, see you guys later. Bye.